Hello guys, it's your girl again, Nelly Usman. You guys are welcome back to my channel. I am back again with another gist. To my returning subscribers, thank you. And to those who are just joining this vlog, thank you for coming. We enjoy ourselves here. Please like, please subscribe to this channel because it's going to be interesting try to subscribe to this channel and also comment on anything you want me to talk about so today we're going to talk about <laughs> five categories of men who shouldn't migrate to canada or relocate not migrate relocate to canada five categories of men who shouldn't bother they should just remain in nigeria because that's where they belong to Five categories of men. Men, I'm hard for you to guys today. You think it's only the women I will attack. I am here for you. As a friend and as a sister in the Lord or in Christ, I'm here to talk to you guys. Come and sit down with your own bottle of beer. Maranja, acerola e mel. Uma doçura. Or a red wine. Or your moet. Whatever you call it. Or your popcorn. If you like it. And enjoy this vlog with me. Now, let's dive into this video. To the five categories of men I said shouldn't bother coming to Canada are number one, men who would say, I don't want to do any survivor job. I cannot do anything that is not in line with what I have done in Nigeria. I cannot do this. I cannot work as a salesman. I cannot work as a sales rep. I cannot work as a caregiver. Please. Or I cannot even work in a store or in a truck uh, building or in a warehouse or whatever it's called, like survival job. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. <laughs> my friend, my brother, please sit back in Nigeria. Canada is not for you. If you're in that category of men, I beg, you don't need them to come here. Because Canada will test your patience. In this country, even if you came here with your PhD, professor, you will start from somewhere. All those books you felt you have read, just cool down, calm down, and start to find your way gradually. But if you come and say, hey, hey, me, I'm a big boy. I'm the bank manager of such a place. I'm the bank, um, the CEO of this, 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 this. So I cannot do that kind of job. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell, right, let me tell you, <laughs> we don't care. Well, you can say that if you have so much money, but if not, Please, humble yourself and start with something little. So if you're in that category of people, or men, sorry, who would say, I cannot do any survival job just to, to see myself going. I cannot even work in some kind of a field. I beg my brother, stay back for Nigeria. Canada is not for you. I am very sure of that. Canada is not for you. No be vexed so. No be anything. Just know for your heart, see, Canada is not for you. Because you must do those kind of things to survive sometimes. But some people get it very fast. They just come in and they get their, their desired job and everything. But some, it's not like that. So if you feel you're that category of men who feel, no, I cannot do this, I cannot do that, I cannot, you have so many, I cannot, I cannot, I beg. Just cannot, just stay inside Nigeria. My Nigeria and I fit you, okay? All right. The second category of men who shouldn't bother to come to Canada or relocate to Canada are those men who would say, I love my food fresh, just baked from the oven. That is how I like it. Fresh, fresh vegetables, fresh carrots, fresh, 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 fresh. Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. Fresh, 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 fresh and stay in Nigeria, please. Canada is not for you. Because in Canada, a lot of women or a lot of families let me use that word let me not say women because some men do cook 
cook too. A lot of families, they bulk cook their food and keep in the freezer. It's not like Nigeria where we don't have light, we don't have some things or, yeah. So in Canada, we bulk cook, you prepare your stew, very big pot, you prepare your vegetable, everything huge, and you start scooping from it gradually. And it's very fresh because it's stored in the freezer. So you can just scoop from it, microwave it and eat it up. But if you're in that category of men, who would say, I love my food fresh. Just make my jollof rice uh, this morning and I will eat it this morning. Just make my pancake. Uh, pancake is, is still uh, manageable. Just make my uh, beans porridge or just make my stew and I want to eat it now. Just make my vegetable, whatever you eat. And you feel it should be freshly made. Mbo, my brother, my friend, I beg sit down for Nigeria. Canada is not for you. Because... We don't have that time. Everybody's hustling. The time moves very fast. Everybody wants to do some things. Good. So if you have time, you and your family can decide to bulk cook, buy tomato, buy everything, prepare everything and keep in the freezer and eat when you feel like eating it. Not when you want to eat, you'll be looking for food to cook. Who has that time? Which woman you can't want to suffer like that? Or who? Maybe if you are living alone, you can find how to manage yourself. But if you have a spouse and your spouse is telling you that this thing is not easy for me, please, let's see how we can do it. And you say, no, I like my food fresh from the oven, from the... Please, oh boy, sit down for Nigeria. Canada is not for you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Another category of men that should, just that should not just bother to come to Canada, that should sit down, sit in Nigeria. You know them? Those kind of men we go see. I love to be with the boys. <laughs> That's how they laugh. I love to hang out with the boys. After work, I love to hang out with the boys. Like you, like take look, like two two bottle of beer or just you know sit out, drink pepper soup, enjoy myself before I come home. Oh boy, Canada is not for you. Sit down for Nigeria. Because here, a lot of people will close from work and they are running home to go and take care of their children so that their wife can go back to work or go back to school or do something. Men here don't really have that time to sit and start hanging out and drinking beer. It's not as if I'm saying it's not available no don't get me wrong but that kind of man that will be available for you to be going out to hang out with all the time there are not so many of them here because a lot of men are still trying to find their feet a lot of them are still trying to see how they can help their spouse a lot of them have not even gotten a job yet or they are still trying to just do one or two things and that kind of man will follow you go sit down they drink beer or they hang out. It's rare. Me, everybody close from work here. They are going to their home because it's not like our Nigeria work where you go and you have enjoyed yourself in the office. Here, they they work out the money for your body. Oh. If they they pay you five dollar per hour, you go work that five dollar come out. So when that man or when that boy close from work or when that whoever your friend close from work, your friend want to go back home to go and rest, not to go and hang out. Maybe Saturday, yes. Maybe Sunday. Maybe once there's holiday. But it cannot be all the time. Because I know some men back home, as they close from work, they must go hang out with the boys first before they, they go to their house. If you're in that category of men, my brother, my friend, I beg sit down for Nigeria. Canada is not for you. We don't talk Amabi. Canada is not for you, so no bother. All right. This is my number fourth category of men. This particular one I want to talk about, it affects a lot of men for here. And that one be say, Oh, I am not domesticated. I cannot do anything in the house. My brother, my friend, I beg, sit down for Nigeria. Canada is not for you. If you cannot help your spouse to take care of the home, take care of your children, uh, and help around with stuff, maybe cleaning, washing, grocery shopping helping to like just assist in the house even cooking a lot of men can cook 
like cooking. If you know you're not in that category of men that can help things like that, Saturday you wake up, you try to clean, try to wash. Oh, babe, do you have anything for me to help you to do? Just assist. Or like Nigeria, where we have house help, where we have relatives around the house, where ah, there's so many, so you have so much time in your hands to do a lot of things. So here you need to help your spouse because times has changed. Nobody to help her. So if there's nobody to help her, you have to sacrifice that time to help her not be in the room pressing your phone if you're that category of men that don't want to help your spouse to do anything and you want to have a peaceful home umbo, stay back in nigeria canada is not for you because canada will make you people get into a fight or a quarrel because that woman cannot survive it not helping your spouse and the home it is wrong I wouldn't it's not even right at all because we all need help unlike the situation we have in our country somehow you can find help from relatives and friends but here you're on your own your spouse needs help please assist as much as you can if you know you're that category of men that cannot assist I beg stay for Nigeria okay another category of men which is the fifth one and the last that is on my list that we see today is those category of men who would say and let me quote them i don't know how to take care of children my wife knows how to handle them for me i don't even know how to carry a baby before i start carrying a baby the baby should be nine months old or 10 months old or 20 years old bro what are you talking about man oh boy sit down for nigeria i don't talk i'm gonna sit down for nigeria because for canada you go help your spouse to take care of children you go help to change diaper you go learn them if you don't even know how to do it learn it change diaper take children to school school runs carry children if your spouse they're busy carry children to school pick them back from school help with homework if they have one um you can sit with your kids to do some kind of you know games that can keep them busy you must be involved in their life the way they create their system you must be involved in your child's life they, they do parents uh, open day where parents will go to school. So if you're that category of father, I'll say, ah, I beg, uh, my wife, I beg, go. And uh, tomorrow go. Nalayo, they go ask the child for school. Where's the father? Or where's your father? Child will say, my father is at home. You're already giving a wrong signal already. You're already giving a wrong signal. So you must be part of your lives. You will join them for sports. You will join them for some outdoor activities. Sometimes you take them for swimming lessons, take them. Don't be Nigeria when you get one brother away. Hey, I beg, go carry my children. Nobody they do that one for you, yo. Yeah. You go do one yourself. You and your spouse go plan on a time. Okay, this this Saturday I'll be less busy. I can take them. Next Saturday, I think you you will not be going to work. You can so now go plan on a time. Say you say you don't get time for your children. I beg. Sit down for Nigeria. That idea when men get. A lot of men have it that they don't want to be part of their family. In short, they don't want to be part of their children's life. I don't even know. Why are we like that? Why we men decide not to be part of their children's life? These children that are answering your name, you don't want to be part of their lives. But if they become kings and queens tomorrow, you are proud of them. So, if you're that category of men, who will say, I beg, I don't get time from children, I beg. They do, they do one. Some go say, they know who Sabi carry baby, their wife go born. Say, I know Sabi carry small baby. They, they do me like say, the baby go break. Make it break for your hand, I beg. Carry him. You go wake up for night too, they do sharing pattern. You know, as begin they cry for night, wife go carry give you. So yeah, take care of, take care of baby. Me, I want to rest. If, she's, if baby don't rest, you too, you go rest. Now so, you know they do that kind of thing for here. You must be part of your child's life. You must be part of your baby's life. The way they build the system, both the, the short, both of you must work as a team to make it work for your children, for yourselves, for your home. You have to work as a team. So if you know, say you be that kind of man, we go go out for morning and come back for midnight. Come they ask, ah, where are my children? They are sleeping. Stay for Nigeria. Oh. Stay back for Nigeria because Canada is not for you. Mm -mm. Canada is not for you. Just stay back in Nigeria. That is where you belong. Okay? 
with these five points i've given out for categories of men who shouldn't bother to come to canada i will i'm going to end this video now and i would plead with men to just try to see that they work on these things if they are in this category so that they can make it to canada and live a peaceful home with their spouse so thank you for watching my videos thank you for coming back thank you for subscribing share with your friends and family if this video seem interesting to you and if you've learned anything from this my video share with your friends share with your family please like and comment and subscribe to my video it's your girl again nelly usman and for now i will say bye bye thank you